Question number 17, we are asked to solve this simultaneous linear equations. There are a couple of ways in which we can take to solve simultaneous linear equations, but let us try elimination method. To solve these equations using elimination method, we need to consider the coefficients. The coefficients are just those numbers that are attached to the unnumbered variables, which are the letters. The coefficient of x here is 3, the coefficient of y here is minus 5 together with the sign, and this is constants, 5 and 4. The coefficient of x here is 1, because you see it is invisible, so it is naturally 1. The coefficient of y here is 10. So to eliminate one of these variables, either x or y, you have to ensure that they have a common coefficient. So now let us try to eliminate y. To eliminate y, you can see y in the first equation has a coefficient of negative 5, while here we have 10. So we can multiply 5 by 2 to obtain 10, but we have to multiply each and every term in that equation. So this is our first equation, while this is our second equation. So we can multiply equation 1 by 2. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10y. And 2 times 5 is 10. Since we have common coefficient, do not bother yourself with the signs. We can rewrite equation 2 here, which is x plus 10 y equals 4. So these two equations, we can add them together because if you add minus 10 and positive 10 together, you are going to obtain 0. But suppose they have the same signs, we have to subtract. Once they have different sign, we add in order to eliminate them. 6x plus x is 7x. Here we have 0, and here we have 14. So you can see from the left-hand side, we only have 7x, and our constant is now 14. So to find x, all we have to do is to divide both sides by this 7. Divide by 7, divide by 7. And you can see x because this will cancel this, leaving only x. And 7 can go into 14 two times. So this means that the value of x in these equations is 2. To find the corresponding value of y, we have to substitute the value of x in either this equation or this equation. So let us try maybe equation 1. So from equation 1, you can see we have 3x minus 5y equals 5. But our value of x is 2. So wherever we have x, we replace it with 2. This is the relationship between x and 3 is multiplication. So we have to multiply uh, 3 by x, and our x is 2, minus 5y. The whole of this equals 5. This time this is 6, minus 5y equals 5. All right, this is constant, this is constant. We are going to join them together because they are like terms. Leaving minus 5y here. Whenever a term crosses over equality sign, whatever sign is attached to that term will change to its opposite. This is positive number. Once it crosses over, it becomes negative. Minus 5 will now be equal to um, minus 1, because 5 minus 6 is minus 1. But what we are looking for is y. So we have to divide both sides by this minus 5. Minus 5 cancel minus 5. y alone equals minus will cancel minus, leaving only 1 over 5. So finally, the values of x and y are 
you can see for x we have 2 comma and for y we have 1 over 5 so these are the solution to this simultaneous linear equation the value of x is 2 while the value of y is 1 over 5 you can test it in the main equation to find out whether this statement is really true and what we have here from the option is the right option is option A. Now let us move on to question number 18.